हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू इंग्लिश विद प्रोफेसर तबसुम आज की हमारी वीडियो में वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस आई पी ई इंटर फर्स्ट ईयर इंग्लिश पेपर फॉर द बोर्ड एग्जाम्स विच टुक प्लेस इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री मार्च सो लेट सी सेक्शन वाइज सेक्शन ए एनोटेट एनी टू ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इन अबाउट हंड्रेड वर्ड्स ईच एजुकेशन इज नॉट वॉट अ पर्सन इज एबल टू होल्ड इन इज हेड सो मच एज इट इज वॉट अ पर्सन इज एबल टू फाइंड सो ये जो लेसन है रोज लेसन टू साइड्स ऑफ लाइफ से लिया गया है एंड ही वॉज क्रॉस शी सेट गो आस्ट द गाई हु कीप्स गार्डनिंग थिंग्स ये फादर ड्यू फादर प्रोज लेसन से लिया गया है हर इंटेंशन आर एविडेंटली गुड एज शी हैज़ प्लांटेड ट्रीज रिच इन बायोडाइवर्सिटी द ग्रीन चैम्पियन थिमक्काज लेसन से यह एनोटेशन लिया गया है सेकेंड वन एनोटेट एनी टू ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इन अबाउट हंड्रेड वर्ड्स ईच यानी कि एनोटेशन फ्राम पोएम्स एंड देन वन संडे आफ्टरनून आई वैंडर्ड आउट अलॉन्ग द डिस्प्लेन्स रिवर ये हैप्पीनेस पोएम से है एंड फैथ ही वील माई ओनली लव एंड फैथ ही वील अ वाइल अ रेड रेड रोज पोएम से लिया गया है हैव यू साइटेड एनी वन विद शेडोज इन हिज डस्की आइज ये द बेगर पोएम से लिया गया है आंसर एनी टू ऑफ द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन इन अबाउट हंड्रेड वर्ड्स ईच द होल स्पीच इज ऑन द ह्यूमन ट्रेड्स कॉमेंट विथ रेफरेंस टू बुक टी वॉशिंगटन्स टू साइड्स ऑफ लाइफ सो ऑब्वियसली ये टू साइड्स ऑफ लाइफ लेसन से लिया गया है वॉट गिव डॉक्टर बैनिस्टर स्ट्रेंथ इन द फाइनल स्पर्ट ये द फर्स्ट फोर मिनट्स प्रोज लेसन से लिया गया है बॉक्स एंड कॉक्स फुलफिल्स ऑल द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ अ वन एक्ट प्ले एक्सप्लेन ये बॉक्स एंड कॉक्स प्रोज लेसन से लिया गया है बिट नंबर फोर आंसर एनी टू ऑफ द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन इन अबाउट हंड्रेड वर्ड्स ईच वॉट इज द स्पीकर प्रोमिस इन अ रेड रेड रोज सो ये रेड रेड रोज पोएम से लिया गया है बल्क डज नॉट मेक मैन बेटर बी हाउ डज द ओक सपोर्ट द स्टैंड ये द नोबल नेचर पोएम से लिया गया है इट मे बी नियर वेन इट सीम्स अफार वॉट सीम्स अफार एंड वाई सो ये कीप गोइंग पोएम से लिया गया है देन बिट नंबर फाइव आंसर एनी टू ऑफ द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन इन अबाउट हंड्रेड वर्ड्स ईच एवरी टाइम द यूथ चूज अ गिफ्ट द फेरी एक्सप्रेस अ डिससेटिस्फैक्शन विथ हर जेस्टर्स कॉमेंट ये द फाइव बूंस ऑफ लाइफ शॉर्ट स्टोरी से लिया गया है हेल्पिंग द ओल्ड इज एज गुड एज प्लेइंग द गेम एल्यूसिडेट विथ रेफरेंस टू द स्टोरी ये प्लेइंग द गेम शॉर्ट स्टोरी से लिया गया है इज द टाइटल संघाला पंतुलु एप्ट फॉर द स्टोरी एक्सप्लेन सो अगेन ये संघाला पंतुलु शॉर्ट स्टोरी से लिया गया है सो सेक्शन ए इज डन नाउ लेट्स मूव टू सेक्शन बी सेक्शन बी रीड द फॉलोइंग पैसेज केयरफुली एंड आंसर एनी फोर क्वेश्चन गिवन आफ्टर रिट इन अ वर्ड और अ सेंटेंस ईच द टैबलेट हैज अ फ्लावरी बॉर्डर द सेकेंड ब्रदर वेंट अवे वेरी प्लीज विथ हिमसेल्फ हार्डली हैड ही गॉन वेन द थर्ड ब्रदर अराइव देयर He too inquired about the inscription, and on being told what it was, asked if there was any other writing on it. Only the doctor's name, Wang Li, at the bottom, said the monk. First question: What did the tablet have for its decoration? The answer is: The tablet has a flowery border. Who answered the question about its decoration? Answer is: The monk. When did the third brother reach the monastery? Answer is: After the second brother hardly left the monastery. Where was the donor's name mentioned? Answer is at the bottom. Why was the second brother happy with himself? Answer is thinking that he was the only one who knew what was written on the tablet. Last question. Write the antonym of departed from the passage. Now antonym means uh, opposite of departed. So it is arrived. Okay. It is given in the um, second last line. Arrived there. Okay. So arrived is the antonym. So this was a scene passage which was taken from your short story. Now let's go to bit number seven. Bit number seven. Read the following passage carefully and answer any four questions given after it in a word or a sentence each. Innovation in irrigation, Kaleshwaram. Kaleshwaram, the brainchild of Sri K. Chandrasekhar Rao, is considered the world's largest multi-purpose, multi-stage lift irrigation project. The other two such projects in the world, one in the USA, Colorado, and the other in Egypt. great man made river took 3 decades for the completion but kaleshwaram lift irrigation project klip in short was inaugurated in just 3 years on 21st june 2019 after starting work on it in 2016 with 3 barrages 20 lifts and 20 reservoirs it aims at lifting water to 500 meters height and carrying it to over 500 kilometers spanning 13 districts with a canal network crossing 1800 kilometers built on the godavari at kaleshwaram in jaya shankar bhopalpalli district the project mainly aims to use the till now unused pranahita 
waters near its confluence with the Godavari. The project presently lifts 2 TMC, 1000 million cubic feet water per day. Plans afoot to increase the capacity to 3 TMC a day. It aims at irrigating 37 lakh acres beside meeting the drinking water needs of Hyderabad and other villages, developing water transport and promoting fisheries and tourism. Let's see the questions now. Question number one. Why is Kaleshwaram called a multi-purpose project? Answer is Kaleshwaram is a multi-purpose project because it provides irrigation, drinking water, water transport, fisheries and tourism. What is the difference between KLIP and other such projects in the world? KLIP is built with three barrages, 20 lifts and 20 reservoirs. So that is the difference. Name the river that provides water to KLIP. The river Godavari provides water to KLIP. What is the irrigation potential of KLIP in acres? Answer is 37 lakh acres. Okay. Expand TMC. TMC full form is 1000 million cubic feet. Give the location of KLIP. The location is that it is constructed at Kaleshwaram in Jayashankar, Bhupalpalli district. Uh, so this was all about section B. Now let's move to section C. Section C. Match any eight of the following words in column A with the meanings in column B. So I'll directly give you the answer key. H, F, B, J, C, I, D, A, E, G. So this is the answer key. Next, bit number nine. Identify the part of speech of any eight of the following underlined words. First one, although. Although is a conjunction. Timakka did not receive. Receive is a verb. A formal education. Formal is an adjective. Her work. Her is a pronoun. Work is a noun. It is sometimes also used as a verb. Okay. Has been honored. Honored is also a verb. With. With is a preposition. The National Citizens Award. National is an adjective. And award is a thing. So it is a noun. Of is a preposition. Of India. Okay. Then. Tenth bit. Fill in any eight of the following blanks with a, an or the. Thimakka, she has been recognized by the government of India and was recently conferred with the Padma Shri Award in 2019, which is the fourth highest civilian award in the Republic of India. Are you a vegetarian? There are quite a number of divisions into which life can be divided. But for the purposes of this evening, I am going to speak of two, the bright side of life and the dark side of life. Peter is an Italian. Okay. Bit number 11. Fill in any eight of the following blanks with suitable prepositions. I want you to go out from this institution so trained and so developed that you will be constantly looking for the bright, encouraging and beautiful things in life. As we lined up for the start, I glanced at the flag again. I fluttered more gently now and the scene... After scene, there is no dash, okay? By mistake, they have given, okay? Shaw's Saint Joan flashed through my mind. How she, at her desperate moment, waited for the wind to change. We should not feel superior to others. Bit number 12. Fill in any four of the following blanks with suitable forms of verbs given in brackets. Means tenses you need to fill. My English teacher usually speaks, okay? Speaks is the answer. English in the classroom, but surprisingly, she is speaking Telugu now. The audience had occupied their seats before the cinema began. Gandhi passed away in 1948. Telangana will become a developed state in two years. We had hot coffee one hour ago. Okay. Bit number 13. Rewrite any four of the following sentences as directed. They were reading the newspaper. Change the sentence to passive voice. So the passive voice is the newspaper was being read by them. Second one, he said, I have lost my bag. I have to change the sentence to indirect speech. So the answer is, he said that he had lost his bag. Harika said to her friend, will you come to my home tomorrow? Change the sentence to indirect speech. The answer is, Harika asked her friend whether she would come to her home the next day. Okay. Next one, Shimla is cooler than Uti. Change the sentence to positive degree. Answer is, Uti is not as cool as Shimla. Fifth one, I cannot speak as fast as you. Change the sentence to comparative degree. Answer is, you can speak faster than me. Last one, I am very happy now. You have to add a question tag. Question tag is, I am very happy now, aren't I?
Bit number 14. Rewrite any four of the following sentences correcting the underlined errors. First one, his both sons are lawyers. So the correct answer is both of his sons are lawyers. Second one, he speaks English very good. So the answer is he speaks English very well. Third one, he is doing homework since 8 o'clock. The answer is he has been doing homework since 8 o'clock. Fourth one, one of my classmates are an officer in the Indian Army. So the first dash is not there actually, by mistake they have given. The answer is one of my classmates is an officer in the Indian Army. Fifth one, all Indians must respect each other. The answer is all Indians must respect one another. Last one, keep your surrounding clean. Now surrounding won't be one, there will be many surroundings around you. So keep your surroundings clean, we just need to add an S, okay. Bit number 15, supply the missing letters to any eight of the following words. First word is childhood. Second word is peace. Third word is frustration. Okay. Childhood uh, double O, peace, spelling P-E-A. Frustration T-R should be there. Then fourth word uh, they have given wrong over here. It is actually heaven. H-E-A-V-E-N. Okay. Even if you've attempted that, they're going to give you marks for that. Okay. Then fifth one is grammar, double M. Then next one, color, O-U. Anguish, U-I. Eighth one, lighten, G-H. Obedient, I-E is the answer. Tenth one, muscle, S-C is the answer. Then bit number 16, identify the silent consonants in any eight of the following words. First word, align, G is silent. Ghost, H is silent. Leader, R is silent. Straight, G-H is silent. Calf, L is silent. Plumber, R is silent. Rap, W is silent. Thistle, T is silent, pneumonia, P is silent, burden, R is silent. Bit number 17, write any four of the following transcriptions using ordinary English spellings. First word is education, second word is husband, third word is pension, fourth word is recently, fifth word is mountain, sixth word is close, C-L-O-S-C, -E, okay. Then uh, 18th bit, circle any four of the words that sound different from other words in that set with regard to the sounds of the bold letters, suggest beggar, luggage. So different one is suggest because G sound is J over there. Then cap, tap, tape. And cap and tap, A sound is A. Okay. But in tape, A sound is actually A. So tape is different. Then shake, take, talk. So talk is different. Fourth one, house, hour, mouse. In house and mouse, ow sound is there. But in hour, A sound is there. So hour is different. Then uh, fifth one, by, try, ray. Okay, A, Y sound is different over there. So, Ray is different. Thin, this, thick. So, this is different. Okay, this. Then, 19th bit, mention the number of syllables in any four of the following words. First word is pension, two syllables. Source, one syllable. Confer, two syllables. Captivate, three syllables. Modest, two. Contribution, four syllables. Okay, okay. Bit number 20, convert the given bar graph into a paragraph. So you need to convert this bar graph into a paragraph, but there has been some error over here, like uh, proper shadings have not been given. So what you can do is you can go according to the uh, pattern, like first is over here football, right? So you can consider that the first line is of football, second one is kabaddi, third one is cricket. So based on that, you need to prepare a paragraph. Firstly, you'll write the above bar graph represents the data of favorite sports of students. Um, the different categories of favorite sports are football, kabaddi, cricket. The different groups that play these sports are HEC, CEC, BIPC and MPC. And then you will mention each category like HEC, 5% um, people play football and 30% uh, people play Kabaddi and 45% people play cricket. Then CC, 20% people play football, 35% people play Kabaddi and cricket also. Then BIPC, 25% people play football. 20% people play Kabaddi and 38% people play cricket. Then MPC, 30% people play football, 25% people play Kabaddi and 20% people play cricket. Okay. You can uh, write, um, instead of saying people play, you can write students play. Okay. And to make your paragraph longer, you can also mention the uh, highest and the least sport played in every group. Like HEC, the uh, sport least played is football and the highest played sport is cricket okay similarly you can mention every column wise the students got confused in the exam is because of the shading okay so anyway if you've even if you've attended this then they'll give you marks for this okay 
so either you can convert the bar graph into a paragraph or you can convert the paragraph into a flow chart read the following paragraph and transfer the information into a flow chart so over here uh, the paragraph is given about rayon man made fabric which is made by human beings and you have to write the process in the form of a flow chart so i'll just tell you the main points first you should keep the heading um, rayon a man made fiber okay and then you can have your flow chart the first would be preparation of wood pulp second would be steeping and pressing that is formation of uh, soda cellulose and excess uh, alkali is pressed out next is shredding in 2 or 3 hours formation crumbs then aging churning mixing ripening spinning and last is drying